How's it going, Breakout? We're here. Hey, Hector, sorry. Getting myself together, running from one place to the next, but I'm back home. Um, about another minute, we will get started. This hair is crazy. Um, hope y'all are doing well. Go ahead and set your mat up, get your towel, get your water, whatever you need. Um, and just one second, I need to take my shoes off. I've got my Beyonce fan in the back. I usually think she keeps hers up front, but you know. It can't all be perfect. Let me set my little timer. If there are any, I started teaching live classes <laughs> and I went into my live class mode. I was just about to say, if there are any injuries, anything going on with your body I should know about, please let me know. But I mean, technically, I guess you could respond if you wanted to and we could, we could definitely discuss it. Um, I hope everyone's still staying safe in quarantine. I do have a job teaching where we, I actually am going into the studio. Um, and mind you, it is a small, <laughs> yeah, it is a small group, uh, literally classes of like four people, which is great, which is fine. Um, because that, that's the time we're in a class that could fit 40 people is now four people. So you know what? We make it work. We had to cut the numbers down. Um, but that is fine. So I hope there are no injuries, nothing going on. Breakout Studios, hey! And a special shout out, an early, early birthday to Cole. Happy birthday. Hope you guys are having a great weekend, quarantine and celebrating. All right, that being said, do what you gotta do to modify, welcome. Um, making sure that, oh, thank you, Hector. Um, always feel free, Chair when you need, rest when you need, take a moment. We're gonna do a little bit more neutral stuff, getting into the hamstrings a little bit more today. What else, what else? Yeah, I don't have my strap with me today. I, I'm sorry, I have a client, I'm like all over the place this Friday, I gotta get it together. All right, that being said, let's go ahead and get started. Go ahead and find yourself in a comfortable seated position. Uh, feel free to pop yourself up on a towel, on a chair, whichever feels most comfortable for you. And as we settle here, let me make sure I, this is on so no one's disturbing me outside of Breakout Studios YouTube. Perfect. All right, go ahead and let your hands rest on your thighs. Either palms up, palms down, palms up a little bit more lifting, getting that Friday energy, weekend energy. Um... Palms down, maybe a little bit more grounded, settling. So do what works best for you. We'll be grounding ourselves later as we go anyway. As you soften through your shoulders, lift your heart. And making sure you're not sinking into that lower back. If you do feel a little bit of sinking, again, perfect time. If you have a block, sit on top of it. If you need to go, sit on a chair. Sit on a chair. Just so you can get some little height here as we get into our opening breath work. As you settle into your space, onto your mat, softly closing your eyes, begin to just soften throughout your face, along your jaw, allowing your tongue to float comfortably in your mouth. And just feel that softening travel down the ears, through the neck, into the shoulders, down into the arms, through the spine, to the torso. And ground it through the pelvis, reaching through the legs with that energy all the way to the tips of your toes. Just start to take in your breath. And just notice what this Friday has brought you. Whatever energy you woke up with, however you're feeling, honor that today. And I want you to practice with that. So if that means sitting here breathing for the next 55 minutes, taking a child's pose, taking a break, go for it. Doing every pose. Now as you bring a little bit more power to your breath, taking a comfortable inhale here together. 
I want you to pause for a moment at the top of that inhale. Exhale gently, release. Pausing at the bottom of your exhale. Inhale. Holding the breath in, pause at the top. Exhale. Pause at the bottom. Two more rounds. Inhale. Pause at the top. Exhale. Pause at the bottom. One more round. Inhale. Pause at the top. Exhale. And pause at the bottom. Take a comfortable inhale. A comfortable exhale. See if the breath is able to get a little bit longer. Each inhale, each exhale. Let's take three big breaths together. Nice deep inhale. Out your mouth, let it go. Two more. Deep breath in. And release. One more deep breath in. And release. And just gently pressing your lips together. As steady as you can, maintaining the ujjayi breath, even through the heat of the practice, the intensity. And when your mind begins to wander, bringing it back, bringing it back to the mat, back to your space, back to the reason you decided to practice this morning. Gently lowering your chin toward your chest, softly bow your head. And taking your time when you're ready, gently begin to open your eyes. Bring your head back up to neutral. Good morning. All right, break out. Let's go and shift forward. We're gonna swing those legs out around behind us and go ahead and make your way all the way up onto all four. Spreading those fingers, planting those palms. Now just a soft bend through the elbows. Make sure we're not locking into hyperextension, hugging the triceps back as you inhale. Begin to pull the heart forward. Moving into cat cow as you exhale, chin to chest, tailbone reaching down towards the mouth. And again, continue to move. Inhale, reaching forward. And exhale, round. Taking a few more here on your own, especially if you're just waking up, kind of getting into some movement into the body. Take it into your side ribs. Release your neck. Release the jaw. But as you take that movement, can you maintain nice, steady breath? Two more rounds of breath on your own. And after you've completed that next round, bring yourself all the way back to your neutral. Keep reaching the heart forward. Now drawing in through that belly, lifting, go and send your left foot, reach it straight back. Now, foot is down the mat. Good, you can see my foot back there. Pressing down on the mat, reach your left inner thigh up, draw the belly up. Begin to take your left leg and float it all the way off the mat without lifting your left hip. Soften that left outer hip down. Keep your belly reaching up. Reach your right arm forward. Take an inhale. And as you exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, reach. And again, exhale in. And reach. And three more. And reach. And two more reach and one more exhale inhale reach getting that nice long length reaching the fingertips forward drawing the belly up hip bones lift taking one more round of breath and then go and gently release your hand release your knee now pause tuck all ten of your toes now if you need a moment you need to hang out here go for it you can even do some cat cows if you want to get a little bit more heat into that core why not it's friday hover those knees just off the mat Knees lifted gently up the mat, shoulders soft away from your ears. 
Keep reaching your heart forward, drawing the belly in. Taking a lot more inhale. Exhale, gently release your knees back down. Ooh, reset. Hip bones lift, shoulders soft. Begin to send your right foot back. Now softening that right outer hip down, lift through the hip bones. That's pelvis bones, pelvic bones. As you draw that belly in, support through your center. And then send your left arm forward. Begin to hover that right foot off the mat. Pressing out the back heel, reaching through the front hand. Take an inhale. Exhale, draw in. Inhale, reach. Four more. And reach. Three more. And reach. Two more. And reach. And one more. And reaching your hand forward, extending the leg back. Draw those hip bones up, taking one more inhale. And then gently releasing your hand, release your knee. Now again here, same thing, tuck your toes. As you exhale, go and hover your knees just off the mat. Pausing here. If it's too much, you lower. Take a cat cow. Rounded. Start to work through the center, feeling more charge in those arms, but without gripping, without pulling the head up, without letting the chin drop down. Nice and neutral. Take one more inhale. And then gently release. Woo. Take an inhale. And then go ahead and keep your toes tucked behind you. So toes are tucked underneath. And then as you exhale, you're going to shift your hips all the way back. Reach those hips back. Reach your arms forward. Draw your shoulders away from the ears. Just gently pressing your heart down. Now as you inhale, begin to work your way forward into your first plank pose on the knees. So keep your knees down. Shoulders right over your wrist. Now don't let your hips sink down towards the mat. Draw the belly in. Send your tailbone towards your heels. Soften your shoulders away from your ears. Take another inhale. As you exhale, shift back. Take an active child's pose. And again, inhale forward. As you exhale, shift back. Two more. Inhale forward. And exhale back. And one more round here. Inhale forward. Pausing at the top. Now, yogi's choice, either stay here in plank, lower all the way down to the belly one round, or give me four chaturanga push-ups, hugging those elbows in. Take an inhale, exhale, gently lower. Inhale up. Three more, exhale lower. Inhale up. Two more, exhale lower. One more. Now remember, don't lead with the chin. As you exhale, don't let that chin drop. Gently release all the way down onto the mat. Now keeping those hands right where they are, right next to those ribs, elbows reaching up. As you inhale, begin to pull that heart forward. Just a little bit more length here. Soften the shoulders away from the ears. Your tailbone, reach it towards your heels. So don't just think of pushing your belly into the mat. Almost like you're trying to lift your belly off the mat. Take another inhale. And exhale, release. And again like that. Keeping your hands planted, maybe press just a little bit higher. Shoulders soft. Collarbones broad, heart pulling forward. Check your breath. Any pain in the lower back, drop down a little bit lower and then drop in through that belly a little bit more. As you exhale, gently lower. And one more here. Inhale, find that length. As you exhale, tuck your toes. We're going right back onto the knees. Press back onto your knees. Shift your hips back and release. Woo. Take a moment. As we add more heat, as we add those push-ups, again, check. Check how the shoulders are doing. Support through the core, come back to your breath. Taking one more round of breath here. Your next inhale, shift forward. Now this time, let's go again, a little bit more heat, only three. If it's too many, hold your plank or just lower straight down to the belly prep for your cobra. Hugging the elbows in, reach the heart forward, collarbones broad, take an inhale. Exhale, lower. Inhale up. Two more. Exhale, lower. Inhale up. One more. Exhale, lower. Pause. Take another inhale. And gently release down. Palms are planted as you inhale. Send that heart up. Shoulders away from ears. Belly lifted towards the spine. And exhale. Hips up and back. Again, shift your hips all the way back. Now, this is a really nice variation that I'm doing here. 
Of course, I'm adding the extra chaturangas in there just for fun, for Friday heat. Um, but as we flow through vinyasas, which we do in this practice, with the knees on the mat, with that cobra, coming back to child's pose like this, it is an awesome variation to take. So if going back into a down dog, if doing the knees lifted or into an upward dog is all too much for you, this is the perfect option. So we're gonna do it one more time, just one chaturanga, and we'll end right back here. On your inhale, shift forward, soften your shoulders, belly lifted as you exhale, gently lower. As you inhale, pull the heart forward, shoulders stay soft, Shift back on your knees, tuck your toes, child's pose. And active, I like to tuck the toes because I feel a little bit more ready to go with those toes tucked rather than just that settling feeling, especially if you're opting out of a, a down dog. Just kind of feels like I'm ready to go for the next one, so why not? Let's do one more here. Inhale, shift forward, shoulders right over your wrist. As you exhale, gently lower, one piece. Don't let that belly hit first. Inhale, lengthen, we're not. Try to snake it down and then shift back down this time. Let's go ahead and make our way into our first downward facing dog. Tuck your toes, hips up and back. And feel free to pedal out your feet. Bend one knee, bend the other. Gently nod yes. Gently shake no. And after you've got those wiggles out, go ahead and take a moment. Just send your inner thighs back length through the back of your legs. Draw your shoulder blades up away from your ears. Sending the heart down towards the mat, taking a couple more rounds of breath here. One more. And taking your time soft bend through your knees. Go ahead and gently walk your hands all the way back to your feet. Now soft bend through those knees. Let your head release. Now keeping that bend through the knees, Rolling up one vertebra at a time, bringing it up all the way up. Woo! To stand. All right, good morning. I think I might have to let him in. I've got a dog on the porch. He's our dog, but I think he wants to come inside. I might let him in in a moment. He wants to assist with some yoga. All right, taking that either a towel or interlace all 10 fingers behind your back. Soft bend through the knees, shoulder blades drawn away from the ears, lifting through the heart. As you exhale, go ahead and gently take your fold with that soft bend in the knees, letting your head drop all the way down. And once you get there, maybe gentle nod, yes, gentle shake, no. Now notice, don't let those shoulders fall right alongside the ears. Draw those shoulder blades up away from the ears. Continue to breathe here as you make your way into your fold. Keep going. Taking one more round. And then gently releasing the clasp of your hands. Bring your hands back down to the mat. Now lengthen your legs just a little bit more here. Maybe a little bit more stretch. Hands should be either on a mat, on the shins, holding on to something, maybe even blocks if you happen to have them. Now from here, I want you to inhale. Press halfway up. Exhale, fold. Walking yourself all the way out to downward facing dog. Pause once you get to down dog, inner thighs reaching up and back. Inhale, shift forward, take your full plank. Now remember, full plank can be knees on the mat with those knees lifted, drawing that belly and keeping those hips height of the shoulders. Take one more inhale, exhale up and back. And two more here. Inhale, reaching forward. Exhale, take it back. And one more inhale forward. Exhale, hips up and back. Pausing here as those inner thighs draw back. Go ahead and take your hands again, soft bend. Walk your hands back to your feet. Coming to this forward fold. Inhale, halfway lengthen. Exhale, fold. Arms overhead, stand tall with a long spine, reaching those arms up. Exhale, hands to heart. Let's take a little side stretch here. Feet are still hips width. Inhale, float the arms up. Exhale, reach your right hand down, left arm up and over. Shoulders stay soft, maybe a little rotation, looking up towards the sky. Lengthen through that sideways, take one more inhale. And exhale. Back to center. And switch. Taking that nice lift and length, reach out through that sideways, tailbone reaching down. 
One more round of breath here. And bringing it back to center. Now nice broad, you can hear Open up those elbows to the side. Take a nice little ridge lift to that heart. Inhale, find length. Exhale, take it all the way down. Walk your hands out to downward facing dog. Sending those hips up and back. Inner thighs reaching. Inhale, right leg to the sky. Exhale, knee to nose. Step your foot between your hands. Feel free to adjust as you bring that foot forward. Back knee down to the mat. Let's go and open up those hips. Reaching arms up, find length. Tricep forward, belly lifted, right outer hip hogs back. And getting that nice lift, especially here. Notice if that left shoulder feels like it's reaching back. And you really square it up. You can even send that left arm um, forward. As those shoulders soften, as that belly keeps drawn up, take one more inhale. Exhale, release. Now, if it's enough for the lunge to just keep that knee on the mat, stay there. If you're ready for crescent, bring that back knee up. Right ankle under right knee, heart reaches forward as you inhale, soft bend. Take it all the way up to your crescent pose, shoulders stay soft, belly still lifted, hugging back and notice, if you feel like the shoulders are trying to open towards that warrior two, you can keep hugging the right shoulder back, but then softening down, arms right alongside the ears. Take one more inhale here. And then as you exhale, go and gently release, bringing your left hand down to the mat, take your right arm up to the sky. Now keep hugging the right hip back. I keep talking about that right hip because that front leg always wants to come forward. Send it back. Send your right inner thigh towards the top of your mat, stacking your shoulders. Now your choice. You can look down, side, up. It's up to you. All of them are correct. One more round of breath. Now we're going to take our left knee, drop it to the mat. So left knee comes down. Take your right foot, step it all the way back. Come to the inside of that right foot. Keep that reach, keep that nice lift through the oblique side waist. Rotate and extend your arm all the way up and overhead. Woo. Check, don't let the tension be this arm hanging over the head. Draw that shoulder down, lift up to lengthen. One more round of breath here. And then gently releasing your hand down. Now again, remember, yogi's choice. As we head into a vinyasa, maybe you do it with the knees on the mat. If it feels all right for you, bring those knees up. Either cobra, if you want, tuck and flip those toes under so the hips are lifted, broaden, and then exhale, shift up and back, downward facing dog. Pedal it out, just take a moment. Let's take a deep inhale here. Out your mouth, let it go. And then one last time here, walk your hands to your feet. Take it all the way back. Find a nice bend. Let the head release when you're ready. Inhale halfway. Exhale, fold. Arms overhead, stand. Exhale, hands to heart. Arms float up and overhead, lengthen. Right hand reaches down, left arm up and over. Get a nice big length and stretch for that side waist. Inhale, center. And switching sides. Inhale, center. Broaden and open. Inhale, reach. Soft bend through your knees. As you take that dive, feel free. The knees do not, should not be locked out. And they do not need to be straight. Bend. Go where you can. Inhale. Find that halfway. Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, fold. Walking your hands out. Take your time. Plant your palms. Send your inner thighs up and back. Inhale. Left leg to the sky. Exhale, knee to nose. Step your foot between your hands. Dropping your right knee all the way down to the mat. As you inhale, float your arms up. Woo. Draw the belly up, send the tailbone down. Hog your left outer hip back. Already working towards that squaring off. Maybe even that right arm just reaches forward. Really feel those shoulders starting to square. Shoulders softening away from the ears. Taking one more inhale here. Exhale, gently release. If it's enough, make your way back into this low lunge with the knee on the mat. Otherwise, lift your back knee, send your heart forward, broaden, shoulders soft. Taking one more inhale here. And then go ahead and take that next breath, float it all the way up. Now keep those hip bones lifted. And see if you can sink a little bit deeper. Ooh, my legs are feeling it today. It's been a week. Hugging that left hip back, drawing those shoulders down. Taking one more inhale. 
and with control, exhale, gently release. Now planting that right palm down, send your left arm up. Now the goal is to try to stack the shoulder. Don't let the shoulder keep falling forward. Use that hand on the mat to help lift up, draw in through the belly, and take that rotation. As best as you can, find that stacking, and again, your gaze, your choice. One more round of breath. Gently release your hand. Now from here, pause. Right knee comes all the way to the mat. There's my foot. You can turn it out to the side a bit. And then go ahead and step your left foot all the way back. Same thing here. Lifting through the side waist. Get a little bit more length. Get a little bit more broadening across the collarbones. One more round of breath. Now Yogi's Choice. This time I choose to keep my knees on the mat, but remember you can lift them up. You can take Cobra, you can take Up Dog, you can skip the Vinyasa. And then shifting it up and back. Whew. Either Child's Pose, Down Dog, Sip It, Towel It, do what you need, reset. Take a nice deep inhale. Out your mouth, let it go. Inhale, come high under your toes, look forward. Exhale, bend your knees. Feel free to take a little hop, maybe a little step, step. Bring it all the way to the top of your mat. Once you are there, go ahead and bring your big toes together this time. Big toes touching soft, bend through the knees. Inhale, light. Exhale, release. Arms overhead, stand tall. And hands to heart. All right, keep the belly lifted. From here, hands to heart. Exhale, shift the hips back, chair pose. Now, as you lift through the center, drawing the ribs in, soften the shoulders down your back. Keep as much length as you can, as much reach as you can. Now, as we come back up, we're going right into our first balance here. This left knee is gonna come up with you towards your chest. So as you inhale, lift up, pause. Whew. Right foot grounded, left outer hip nice and soft. Hip bones drawn up, now engage. Begin to bend your right knee. Exhale, step that left foot all the way back into crescent. Adjust, lengthen, inhale, arms up. Shoulders soft away from your ears. Wrap the triceps forward. Take another inhale. Gently release, turn the palms forward so they're facing the front of your mat. As you exhale, lift to the center. Reach your heart right over that right thigh. Feel that grounding, feel that support. Not only through your center, but the work through your legs. Right hip, guess what? Hug it back. Power through your back leg. Don't forget about the back leg. Just because it's behind you, make it work. Take one more inhale. As you exhale, gently release your hands down to the mat. Inhale, pull your heart forward. Exhale, lengthen your front leg as long as it can. Maybe all the way straight, maybe just a bend. Front toes flex, and then again, reach it forward. Three more. Inhale, reach. Two more. Inhale, reach. One more. And reach, pausing here, getting a nice length and lift. Now from here, we're gonna turn our right toes all the way in. You're gonna drop your left toes. Parallel feet, so you turn towards the left side of your mat, and then go ahead and take a nice little fold. Ooh, hug your outer hips in, let the head drop down. Now, double check as I'm doing it too. So we don't want our shoulders to hang here. And it doesn't matter. If you're higher, that is fine. Again, use a chair, use a prop, make those hamstrings aren't quite as open, bend your knees. If you are folded down, we don't want the shoulders to be bunched up here. So draw the shoulder blades away from the ears. Any of my friends who might be reaching down a little bit more, feel free to even walk those hands back a bit as you fold, hugging those outer hips in, take another inhale and exhale. Inhale, come up onto your fingertips. Pause. Again, use a chair, use a block, draw the belly in, pull the heart forward, soft bend through your knees on your next inhale. Bring your hands to your hips. Pause. Hold. Inhale up. Ooh. Feel free to step or hop your feet together. Come on, talk to your mat. All right, bringing those big toes together. Belly reaching in, tailbone reaching down. Hands to heart, take an inhale. Exhale, shift your hips back. Now soften the shoulders. Even here, check any rounding forward. Draw them down and back. 
Now connect through the core, through the center. As you keep pressing into those heels, use that lift. Now your left foot, plant that left big toe into the mat. As you inhale, bring your right knee up with you. Pause. Ooh. Soften that right outer hip. And then squeeze, hug that left bum in. Take another inhale. Bend your left knee. Step your right foot back, crescent pose. Now adjust your feet. And notice I took mine wider. When they're stacked, you know what I mean, warrior one, we try to align and really stack, but it's harder to balance. So adjust it, open it up. As you send the tailbone down, Lift the arms up, shoulders soft. Wrapping those triceps forward. Now keeping the length, keep the lift, just the palms. Keep drawing in and up, lift up. As you shift forward, now arms right alongside those hips. Shoulders soft away from the ears. Breathing here, left hip, hugging back. Two more rounds. You've got this, one more inhale. Exhale, Woo. now don't just collapse. Inhale, pull your heart forward. Exhale, lengthen your front leg as much as it works for you. Don't worry about that back heel touching the mat. Inhale, pull forward. Exhale, lengthen. And again, inhale forward. Exhale, lengthen. One more here, inhale forward. Exhale, lengthen. And then go ahead and gently release your foot down. Pull the heart forward. Pausing here. And let's go ahead and drop. Right heel down, left toes turn to the side, and a nice wide stance. Again, go ahead and fold. Drawing those sitting bones up, hugging the outer hips in, let the head release down. Gentle nod, gentle shake, go where it works for you. And as we inhale, bring yourself halfway. Come on to your fingertips, pull the heart. Drawing the belly and shoulders soft away from the ears. Now hug the outer hips in. Soft bend as much as you need. Engage. Take an inhale. Exhale, hands to hips. Don't let anything move. Ooh, take another inhale. Exhale. Inhale, bring you all the way up. And then go ahead and bring those feet together. Awesome work, yogis. Take a moment. Let's ground ourselves at the top of the mat. Take a nice deep inhale. Let it go. Now take a sip, take a towel as you need. Take a break when you need. And just a little bit more opening across the chest along the collarbones. So I'm gonna turn here. Ideally, we're working towards a uh, reverse prayer. So we wanna reach the arms out, we're gonna rotate. Now this may or may not happen, but we're trying to get those palms to touch. So if you're like, no way, Nicholas, you're crazy, my shoulders aren't gonna do that, that's fine. It's not easy. Go ahead and take your hands. You can make fists and bring your knuckles together. And if that doesn't work, bring your hands to your hips. We just want to practice this opening here. Now, whichever variation you take, go for it. Shoulders are tight today. Go ahead and bring those palms in. Now, I'm turning profile just so you can see, because one thing I want you to notice, so here my ribs are trying to push forward. I've released my belly. I've released my tailbone. No good. And that's because I tried to like really get my hands together, my palms to connect. Draw in, draw the ribs in, tailbone down, so that you're grounded, that you're set through that core, and that we're still lifted and brought along the collarbones. Now from here, if this is enough, stay. Otherwise, exhale, round the legs, shifting down, take it into a chair. Oh. Ooh. Reaching that heart forward. And double check. Again, one more view profile. Try and let this happen. Drawing down and then draw into that mid-center. Take another inhale, and exhale. One more round of breath. Exhale. Inhale, bring you all the way up. And lengthen, release. If it felt a little tight in the shoulders, take a moment. Open it up, let it go. And taking it back the other way. Now just one round today that we're gonna work into our warrior two. We're doing a little bit more neutral poses, more forward with those hips aligned. But just to get that opening in there, let's go for it. We're gonna take it through a vinyasa or meet me back in down dog. When you're ready, inhale, float. Exhale, dive forward. Inhale, halfway. Plant your palms, step, hop, jump, down dog, vinyasa. Wherever it works for you. Finding that lift to length and inhale. And exhale up and back. 
One round. Inhale, float your right leg to the sky. Exhale, knee to nose. Step your foot between your hands. Warrior one. Now, back heel draws down. Traditionally, certain styles, they're gonna try to align heel to heel. I'm not a stickler about it. Again, open up your hips, hug that right hip back. Send your heart forward, back leg is straight, back heel's planted. Warrior one, rear Vajrasana one. Now, again, do that double check. If we don't want the shoulder to open to the side, feel free, reach that left arm forward, lengthen forward towards the front of your mat and float that arm up. Keep that shoulder stacked. Take a moment, let's take it into the back leg. Inhale, lift, reach that arm forward one more time. Really pull that left arm forward. Now take that nice deep bend and then reach it up again. Woo. One more inhale here. Hands to heart. Now, because we're opening the hips to the side, walk your foot in. Heel to big toe, front heel, back big toe. Send your inner thigh forward. There we go. And send the right arm out, left arm back. Now, same thing, we don't want to be tilted this way. Open up as best as you can to the side. And then keep that lift. Only one warrior, two on each side today. Enjoy it. Press your palms down, ground it through your legs. Can you settle into your breath? I love how strong a warrior two is. We get annoyed when we have to hold them because they're powerful. They are a powerful pose. So for the next few rounds of breath, can you just breathe into it? Can you settle? Don't think about the rest of your Friday. Don't think about your party, weekend, quarantine plans. Just get into your warrior two. Settle the mind, settle the thoughts. Two more here. One more inhale. With control. Exhale, release. Nice, yogis. Now, we did this earlier. Feel free to stay with the, the modified version. Left hand down. You can bring left knee down. Step back. If you want a little bit more heat for those obliques for that core, extend both legs. You can either stagger the feet you see my feet? There they are. Staggered or stack them. Woo. And don't fall back. Broaden through the collarbones. Maybe side. Maybe up. Find that press. Find that reach. Take one more inhale. Exhale. Sending your hand down. Either vinyasa, down dog, child's pose. And up and back. Resetting, take a nice deep inhale. Out your mouth, let it go. Inhale, left leg floats. Exhale, knee to nose. Step your foot between your hands, pause. Warrior one, back heel drops down, back leg is straight. Remember, a little space between the left and right foot. As you inhale, sweep the arms up. Draw the belly up. Send the tailbone down. All right, now keep reaching. Maybe that right arm, whoo, send it forward. Square the shoulders. Inhale, lift. It's just almost like this lifting up, kind of trying to rotate. Really reaching forward. And then same thing with those hip bones. Now as you inhale, straighten the front leg. Right arm can reach forward. Shoulders soft. And then go and take a nice deep bend. Nice, holding here. Breathe into it, you got this. Taking one more inhale. Exhale, hands to heart. The power, the strength. As you ground yourself, adjust your feet. Left heel aligned with right big toe, send the inner thigh forward. Lift the hip bones up, square to the side. Begin to extend. Reach, press down, lift up. Your gaze to the side, your gaze forward, you decide. As that inner thigh reaches out, as the left hip hugs back. Putting that work into the back leg. Now remember, if you're only thinking about this front leg and you start to release and soften through the back leg, the front leg will do the most, most of the work. So, can you keep lengthening through the sideways? Keep reaching back. Take another inhale. And exhale. One more round of breath. Inhale. And exhale. One more. Inhale. Exhale, gently release. Plant your right palm. Take the variation that works for you. Right knee down, left foot back. Maybe both feet stack. Woo. Lifting up here as you broaden, as you lengthen. One more round of breath. Exhale to release. 
Either vinyasa, child's pose, down dog. And when you're ready, we'll meet back in our downward facing dog pause. Take a little pedal. Whew. Take a nice deep inhale. Let it go. And let's go ahead. Bring those knees down. Oh, child's pose. Toes together. I never do them. You're welcome. Happy Friday. Shift those hips back. I don't do them not because I don't think they're good. I think they're awesome. So always remember when you're practicing, whether it be a virtual class or a live class, it's something that I have to work on. My competitive side of feeling I cannot take a child's pose. It's not what yoga is about. If your body says take a rest, take a rest. It doesn't matter if you're signed up for the strongest power yoga class ever. You do every pose, you do one pose. It doesn't matter. Breathe, connect, settle. Find your practice. One more round here. And shifting forward. And there's something to be said who, to yogis who truly know their bodies, who are just like, you know what? I gotta take a moment. That's what a yogi is, just settling into listening to your breath, to your body, settling the thoughts that are negative, and knowing where you are at this moment. All right, coming onto your toes, look forward, bend your knees. Exhale, step or hop, bring it to the top. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. Arms overhead, stand. And hands to heart. Whew. All right, we're going for a balance. So, let's start in a chair pose here. Bring your big toes together, belly lift. Go ahead and send those hips back into your chair. Bring those arms out. Now I want you to take your left arm high, cross it over. And then from there, bend your elbows, eagle arm wrap, soften down. Now if that doesn't quite reach, you can use a towel here. If it's just super uncomfortable and those arms are just not crossing at all, sorry, as I come out of my chair pose, reach and hug around for the shoulders. That's another great variation too. Don't let it be up here though. Soften it down. Now, if this is enough, you're like, Nicholas, I'm just working this wrap with the arms. Awesome. Stay there. Feel the heat with the chair pose. Otherwise, bring that right knee, bring it across, and shift those hips back. Now, if you can, I cannot wrap your foot around your leg again. That just does not work for me. Hug those hips back. However, my Bones are built in my legs. I guess they're just too bow-legged. I can't get my foot trap. If you can, awesome. If you need this foot as a kickstand, bring it down and balance there. I'd have to force it. No point. Not worth it. Let my ego go, Nicholas. It's all right. Taking two more rounds of breath here. One more. Inhale, gently lengthen. Woo! And release. Awesome. Now shifting, switching sides. Shoulders soft. Go ahead and send those hips down. Right arm is high. Bring it across. Underneath. Now same thing. If that didn't work for the wrap, take the shoulders again here. And you decide if this is enough, even if you've got a stand, pulling that heart forward. If available, take that left leg. Go ahead and bring it up and over. This one's a little bit closer. Hugging that left hip back. And that's a dancer. I could never wing my feet. It was a problem. Oh, wish I could. Hip bones lift. Draw those shoulders down. Two more rounds of breath. As you inhale, begin to lift and lengthen. And exhale. Really stand tall. Take a nice deep inhale. Exhale, let it go. All right, we're gonna go ahead. Last couple rounds of standing poses. From here, so we start to open up through the back. I want you to keep your right foot forward. Step your left foot about halfway back. So if I turn profile, about this distance. Now remember, our feet are on their own track. Keep them that way, hugging your right hip back. Now soft bend to that front knee. Now remember our reverse prayer that we did earlier, right here? We're gonna place it there. So, again, either reverse prayer, knuckles, or hands to hips. Just trying to stay in frame here, I apologize, my furniture's in the way. 
I mean, that impacts. <laughs> so I mean, it's tight spaces here in LA. I don't have the desert space like I did in Arizona. Hugging the hip bone back, lifting up, shoulder soft, belly draws in. As you exhale, soft bend, we're only going halfway. Reaching that heart forward, Woo! barely enough space. Good thing we're not going for a full fold, I wouldn't make it. Shoulders away from the ears, drawing those shoulder blades together, hugging that right hip back, nice, long spine. Two more rounds, settle into your breath, soft bend, don't lock into that knee joint. Engage with the quad, is your left heel pressing to the floor? Make sure it is. Take another inhale, and exhale. Inhale brings you up. <sighs> Gently release. Now you're most likely at the top of your mat. Cool, I'm turning profile so you can see. But adjust, step forward, and switch sides. And I will turn profile the other direction. If you did really short arms like I did, great. Take a moment, soften, go and extend, flip those palms, take them back again. Either to reverse pair to the knuckles, now, pressing your right heel back, engage. Draw the left kneecap up, soften the ribs in, broaden. As you exhale, take it halfway. Now, even if this halfway, and I do apologize, I did not give this variation on the other side, but if you need support, take a chair, just open it and draw the shoulder blades down here. Hugging that left hip back, draw the belly in. Two more rounds, send a little bit more love to your right heel, right foot presses down. Take another inhale. And exhale. One more round. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Bring you all the way up. Woo. Release your arms. Standing tall at the top of your mat. Let me adjust as I slide all over the floor. Inhale. Lengthen. Exhale. Dive. Halfway. Reach. Plant those palms. Either vinyasa. Down dog or child's pose. Step it, hop it, skip it. Oops, up and back. All right, we're almost there. Last standing poses. We're just gonna get a nice little stretch into those shoulders. Take your right foot, bring it forward. Left heel drops down. Set up for warrior one again. Hugging that right hip back. Send that front knee forward as you inhale, float. Shoulders soft. Take your hands. Now this time, not reverse prayer, interlace the fingers behind your back, interlace. Draw the shoulder blades down, hug your right hip back. Now you might even want to take this right foot out a little bit wider to the side. Gently soften, draw your ribs in as you exhale. Humble warrior. Let the head draw down. Maybe those knuckles reaching over now. Try not to let the hips push all the way to the right side. If we were in a room, I'd say don't put your hips on your neighbor's mat. Keep them on yours, hugging that right hip in. Cheesy yoga joke. Drawing that left kneecap up. Soft into the shoulders, taking one more inhale here. Can you sink a little bit deeper? Exhale to release. And take it straight back. Downward facing dog. Last round. Step your left foot forward. Drop your right heel down. Back leg nice and straight, left hip hugging back. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Now keep that belly lifted, set the tailbone down. Interlace. Draw those shoulders together and down on the back without pushing the ribs out. Draw your ribs in. And then a little lift. Exhale. Release and fold. Again, maybe you walk that left foot out a little bit more to the side. Two more rounds of breath. One more inhale. Exhale, release, and your hands down, pause, plant your palms, step it back. It'll be your last vinyasa, you can take it or leave it. Inhale, lift. And exhale, up and back. Nice deep breath in. Let it go. And gently bringing your knees down to the mat. And go ahead and bring yourself upright. Alright, yogis. We're coming towards the end. One last little bit of heat here. On the knees, feel free to flip your mat if your knees are sensitive. Again, I will turn profile. Tuck in your toes. Hands to the upper glutes, upper bum. 
lower back. As that tailbone reaches down, soften your shoulders from your ear, ears, get that lift. Now, keeping your hips over your knees, begin to broaden and shift it back. Ooh, straws, my camel pose. Doesn't matter how far back you go. And see what I'm doing looking sideways? Do not do this. I'm looking towards the camera just to make sure I can throw my voice, but you want to keep the gaze upwards. You don't want to turn. Some will stay here, maybe to the heels. Sending those hips forward, take another inhale. And exhale. Now in one piece, use your core. Inhale, brings you all the way up. Now keeping your toes tucked as you exhale, have a seat on your heels. Now, if it is intense in your toes, that's right. It's supposed to be intense. It's a nice stretch for the arches of your feet. So some people have to reach forward like, oh my gosh, my feet. That's fine. I've done this many times. But breakout studios, I know y'all dancers, so stretch out those feet. I know you can. Yeah, and those toes, a nice stretch. Two more rounds of breath here. Oh, he wants to go outside again. It's the dog. And then go ahead and bring yourself forward. He's exhausting. Go ahead and step your right foot forward. And then from here, go ahead and shift your hips back. Now, if you need a chair, a little lift. I only brought one block with me today. Don't ask me why. The other one's in my car. Or in storage in the closet somewhere. Hugging the right hip back. Take a moment. So again, if you need a little support, so we're getting into the hamstring. Pull the heart forward. A gentle release. Now you can stay here if it's in your practice, if it's available and you want to slide the heel forward, you are welcome to. Today I will opt out because my legs are tight. Too much cycle. Breathing here, two more rounds of breath. And then from here I want you to go ahead and shift forward. Bring this right foot all the way down onto the mat. Pause. Again, getting into the hip, you can stay here if this is enough, awesome. You can bring both hands down. If available and you wanna reach back, maybe you take hold of that right foot, give it a little hold, a little pull, and keep pressing those hips down. A little rotation. If you can't quite reach the foot, but you wanted to push the hips a little bit deeper, you're welcome to just bring the hand onto the thigh, maybe even take it just into more of a twist. Again, trying to make it work for you. One more round of breath. And then gently releasing your back foot if you do have it. Go ahead and shift back. Send that right foot back. Switch side. Send your left foot forward. And then straighten that front leg. Flex your front foot. Hugging left hip back. Pause. Go where it works for you. Walking the hands forward. You can fold and release. You can slide the heel forward. Taking your time. Don't let it lead with the pinky toe though. Because then we miss out on some nice stretch here through the calf through the leg so hugging the pinky toe back that's why we get that it is more intense that's the idea so we want that intensity go for it work it draw those toes back two more here one more time just flies by sorry i keep checking because usually wherever i am teaching i have a clock around so i always have to make sure i'm not going over time Go ahead and reach those toes forward. Plant the foot. You decide to stay here. Tailbone reaching back. If available, you can take hold of the foot. Whew. Taking two more here. One more. And if you do have that foot, go ahead and gently release it. We're going to come all the way down onto the hips now. So go ahead and swing those legs around all the way onto the bum. Whew. Now we'll do our twist on our back, but go ahead and bring your left shin in parallel. Double pigeon today. We didn't do a lot of external stuff. So this again will be tight. If there's any pain, if you're just like, no way. If this knee is way up here, then bring your left shin in. And cross into Sukhasana and fold here. You're still getting a hip stretch. Otherwise, if it feels all right, stack heel on top of knee. 
ankle on top of knee, knee on top of ankle. Don't sickle here and then try to answer. Try to really keep that ankle nice and long. Not because we're worried about the lines, but because we're worried about the joints, your ankle joint, keep it safe. Either up right here, see, ooh, tightness. If it feels all right to fold, go for it. Two more rounds. And then taking your time, slowly bring yourself back up, go and rock back and switch sides. So if you were just crossing the shins, cross the other shin in front. If you're at your double pigeon situation, left ankle on top of right knee, a little flex. Trying to get those shins parallel with the top of your mat. And again, sit tall. Each side might be a little bit different. Noticing even me right away, I notice. My left hip is more rotated, I know that. So being all right that the body is not perfectly balanced. No one's is. Breathing into it as you reach your heart forward. A few more rounds of breath. Ooh. Inhale, taking your time. Slowly bring yourself up. One last forward fold. Let's go ahead and stretch both those legs forward. Take the skin of your bum gently. Lift it up. A little flex through your feet. Inhale, reach. Woo. Exhale, Paschimottanasana. Either a towel, wrap for the feet, shins, mat. Just set the hands down. Take a little inhale. Lengthen. Exhale, fold. taking your time slowly bringing yourself back up we're going to go ahead and shift all the way onto our back finishing into our final poses this morning so go ahead and gently hold on draw the knees in for a moment when you're ready keep that right knee in send the left leg forward and as you exhale send your knee across your body gently pressing your right shoulder down onto the mat as you extend and reach two more here One more round of breath. And bring yourself back to center, bringing your right knee in, hugging your left knee, and go ahead and extend. Sending your left knee across the body, gently pressing your left shoulder down. Ooh. yourself all the way back to center hugging your left knee hugging your right knee take an inhale exhale gently float your forehead up pausing at the top for a little hold and your next breath go and release everything down onto the mat making yourself comfortable turning the palms up gently drawing the shoulder blades together to get a little lift of the heart and just a few moments here as we settle into the space, taking one more inhale. Gentle release, sigh. Surrender. Onto your mat. Move into your Shavasana.
gently begin to deepen your breath, bringing movement back to your fingers, back to your toes, reaching your arms over your head, take a long stretch through your body, bending your knees when you're ready, rolling to your side, allow your breath to deepen. And when you're ready, your next exhale, pressing yourself all the way up to a seated position, just like how we started crossing at your shins. Bringing your hands together at heart center, sitting tall. Bending length through the spine and lift through the heart, soft into the shoulders, grounded for your day. Take a deep inhale. Let it go out your mouth. Two more deep breaths in. And release. One more deep breath in. And release. Sailing in your practice, your work, your effort. Namaste. Thank you so much, Yogi. Such a pleasure, as always, Breakout Studios. I hope everyone has a great rest of their Friday, stays hydrated in the warm weather. We've been hitting hot weather here in LA too. I mean, not Tucson hot, but hot. Um, but anyway, if you have any questions, comments, always feel free to let me know. Um, have a great Friday, have a safe weekend. Stay safe out there. Thank you, Hector. You're welcome, as always. Um, but yeah, I think that's it. That's all I got for you guys. It's going to be 111 today. Oh my gosh, I don't even know. It's going to be, I think, 85 here. But it'll be 89 tomorrow. And then 90. <laughs> oh. Well, I'm so glad you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much uh, for joining me. And hopefully I'll see you again next. Exactly. Pool day for sure. <laughs> and hopefully I'll see you guys again next week. Uh, same time. Vinyasa Flow with Nicholas. Uh... Have a great one.